So I'm Maura Ewell. I'm doing a PhD at the University of British Columbia under the supervision of Dr. Lori Grotto. So one of the things that we research here at the UBC Sexual Health Lab is asexuality. And for those of you who haven't heard, be heard of it before, asexuality is a lack of sexual attraction to anyone at all. It's generally thought of as a, being a sexual orientation. Part of, part of our research program on asexuality, we're collaborating with Dr. Anthony Bogart at um, Brock University in St. Catharines, Ontario, on a study uh, investigating sexual arousal among asexual men. So we're recruiting asexual men over 19 years old to come into one of our labs and participate in some research. In an equivalent study that we ran a few years ago on asexual women, we found that asexual women had similar levels of sexual arousal compared to women of other sexual orientations, so um, heterosexual women, lesbian women, and bisexual women. What this suggested is that asexuality is not a dysfunction of sexual arousal in any way and may be best conceptualized as a sexual orientation. We're now recruiting asexual men to participate in the male version of this study and hope that our findings will increase our understanding of asexuality and also decrease any stigma that might exist around asexuality or a lack of sexual attraction. Participation involves coming into one of our labs, either here in Vancouver, BC, or in St. Catharines, Ontario, and watching a series of erotic films while sexual arousal is measured by a device called a penile plethysmograph, or a strain gauge. And the strain gauge itself is a just a little elastic band that's placed by the participant himself while he's in a private lock room around the penis. And it just expands with sexual arousal, so basically it gives us a measure of sexual arousal or interest in the erotic films. The entire study is um, completely confidential and the testing is carried out in a private locked room so the participant is in the room by himself throughout the entire testing period and places the strain gauge um, on his own so no one else is there. The strain gauge is uh, disinfected in a medical grade disinfectant so very clean and the participant has a choice of a male or a female research assistant to guide him through the study. We're making every effort to make this comfor as comfortable as possible for participants. Participants will also be filling out some questionnaires before they go through the sexual arousal testing. Um, and there is an optional second phase of the study where participants will engage in sexual fantasy while wearing the strain gauge. We're able to pay participants $50 for the first phase um, and about and $25 for the optional second phase. So there's the potential to make $75 for participating in this research. We're currently looking for asexual men 19 years or older to participate in this research. Um, if you're interested or have any questions, please get in touch.